All right, so yesterday, my birthday, also Ooh, happened to be the 21. vernal equinox, which does, uh, <laughs> yes. Someone just chanted Thir 21. 35, and I hurt my back at the gym today, so everything's going on, on schedule there. Uh, so this is a cool picture of a uh, NOAA satellite of the uh, equinox, which is when the uh, direct sunlight right over the equator. But I didn't realize this. Rachel asked me about it today. Apparently, we talked about it yesterday. People believe that they can balance an egg on this day because of the difference in gravitational pull, which, let's start there, there is none. Secondly, because the gravitational pull is always towards the center of the Earth, so where it is relative to the sun is, is pretty much irrelevant. The other thing that, to note is you can do it on any day. It just takes patience <laughs> any day. And they actually did a study on this. Why, I'm not sure who funded it, I'm unclear on. But they, because the egg, if you zoom in, has little tiny like nubs on it, right? It's not uh, perfectly smooth. The way you can balance it is you end up getting three of those, like a tripod, to sit on a surface. So go home, try it. There are some eggs that might be imbalanced and can't be done, but any day of the year you can do it. It has nothing to do with the matter with the size the of the egg, the type of no, egg? No, I mean, certainly uh, uh, you want an egg that's a little bit rougher. You have a better chance. and. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be doing it on glass because there's nothing. What about hard eggs? You don't want to do it right to the out. edge either. Don't right. Do no, it the, the edge, edge yeah. of the earth. Because that would be bad. None of this makes any sense, I don't think, to them. But uh, try it. <laughs> Apparently, you can do it any day that you want. Awesome, Keith. Yeah. Thanks so much. You don't want the egg to fall off the flat earth. No. Either, exactly. So.